Hi, I'm Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Let's make these hashtag shorts because who's got time for fun? So print this, cut here, each there, set two rivets, and you're done. What? You like fun. Oh, then uh, let's do this one more time. Hi again, I'm Tony, and today I will show you in great detail how to make any of these two masks because I'm not 12. My attention span is longer than 30 seconds and uh, working with leather is fun and I want my fun to last longer than 30 seconds. Am I right? You know what I mean. Anyway, back to these two masks here. You're gonna need a few scraps of uh, bright colored four ounces leather and a larger piece of six ounces vegetable tan for this main part here. See how they keep their curved shape like that? That is because I inserted some two millimeter aluminum wire inside. So uh, yeah, go get some of that as well. Some of that wire, okay? What else? A few rivets, one or two buckles, and um, that's about it. Oh yeah, there is one more thing. The pattern, yes. Go grab the pattern right now because that's available and uh, I left a link down below. Download it, print it, and uh, use it to cut your leather so we can start already. If this is your first time using my patterns, follow the link I left in the video description and see how easy it is to use my patterns in order to get all the leather pieces you need and uh, make any of these two masks. All right? Good. You should also watch the whole video before you start and that goes for everyone, all right? So here are all the pieces you need for the mask. Let's start with the main part here. I will use one millimeter waxed thread to close the split here with uh, what I call a cross stitch. Everyone calls it that. What? Everyone calls it that. I need to tell you, these are the best stitching needles ever. And um, if you wanna go get the exact same ones, I'll leave a link to these and other tools I'll use throughout the videos uh, down in the video description because um, full disclosure, I get a little something. I get a little something if you happen to use these links. You know, Tony got to put some gas in them Bentleys out in the, in the driveway, right? They are not your cars. What? They're not mine? What about the driveway? Not mine either. What about the house? What about, what about this? The, what about this beard? 
Is this beard mine? No. Still no. Damn. I guess I gotta get rid of it then. Can we continue now? Great, thank you. So after you close the stitching, like I showed you, we can um, get this piece of leather in carnival mode with a few patches of bright leather. So go ahead and stitch all these uh, pieces next. Just one mention, the left eye piece doesn't match the right piece, so um, make sure you check out the pattern because it will uh, tell you which is which, all right? And if you go wrong, it's a very uh, short stitch to undo and redo because, you know, it is what it is. After you do all that, we're gonna attach the nose piece. But not before we take care of the split here with cross stitching, like just like before. And uh, then simply attach it to the mask like I do here.
Now, the mask will uh, have these side reinforcement strips on the side. So go ahead and uh, get those attached as well. Next, these three guys, all right? What, what are they called? Diana, are we still looking for uh, an answer? No? Nobody knows? I'm still gonna show you how to make one from start to finish.
Wow, that was a long viewing experience, but um, you learn so much. From using the pattern to cut the leather, to stitching, to edge painting, rivet setting. Happy days, fun times. Now let's attach these to the top of the mask right here. Don't forget to insert the wires first because um, you see, they're quite important. Take note, they will overlap one with the other, so take a couple of seconds to make sure they are centered properly. All right, right down the middle, right here.
Now simply shape these the way you want. We still don't know how they're called, right? No. But you are trying to find out, right? Yes, as we speak. Okay, let's attach the straps and be done with this. Once again, if um, you want to get the exact same hardware I use, we created the hardware shop just for you. Link below, so you don't have to look around too much to find everything you need. And besides, Diana needs money to conduct her research. Exactly. Well, here is one last shot of my glorious beard. Now, on a canal trip to the Black Sea, literally. And I also have this thing. Thank you for watching and for supporting our channel. Peace.